ouster of President Duterte is right on top of the Communist Party's list of New Year's resolutions. Despite this, party founder Joma Sison says the CPP and NDF are very much open to the resumption of peace talks with the Duterte government. As for the NPA, he says they will expand guerrilla warfare by seizing more arms. Malacanang has once again come to the defense of President Duterte's latest controversial remark, particularly on the Christian doctrine of the Holy Trinity. Presidential spokesman Salvador Panelo said the president was merely testing the validity of church rituals when Duterte called the belief of the Holy Trinity silly. Rather than being offended, Panelo added the church and its believers should instead welcome it as a way to strengthen their faith. The spokesman also said the president's intention is to initiate an intellectual discussion for enlightenment and spiritual awakening. And the PNP has taken hold of the two suspects in the killing of Ako Biko Representative Rodel Batokabe. They say both suspects are willing to take the witness stand. And according to a source from News 5, the suspects willingly surrendered to the authorities. PNP spokesperson Benigno Durano Jr. said, they are also in the process of investigating other witnesses whose statements may shed light on the Batokabe's assassination. Their uh, testimonies can shed light uh, into, into the case and that it may or may not um, uh, give us a positive lead that will lead us to the perpetrators, including the mastermind.